Okay, this is episode 16, so I thought I would make a mega game, which is going to be really bad. So yeah, I don't advise making a game with Windows Forms at all by just using the basic things. If you have some OpenGL or DirectX, then fine, but using this, yeah, just don't. But for the purposes of this, I'm going to, just because it teaches some good practice about Windows Forms, and why not? But yeah, don't ever release a game to the public like this. For the sake of humanity, just don't. So I'm gonna make got a picture box here, and I've set it to the dimensions of the characters which I've previously drawn. PB, I'm gonna rename as PB Player. And the picture box of the player. So a game needs a game tick, and to make a game tick, I'm going to use a timer. And this probably isn't the best way of doing it, but it works. So I'm just gonna resize the form here, just because it's annoying if it's yeah. You have to keep going down. So I'm going to set the interval to 10. So that's how often it will tick. Now this is 10 milliseconds. So this is um, I think that's a hundredth of a second. And I set enabled true. That means it will start ticking when the form is launched. Now this is a pitch box. We wanted to put the image in, um, but because I'm having two images and it will toggle between them, I'm not going to local resource import. That's only if you really want it to stay constant and not change. To load in two images into the program, um, to be not the display but just to load into the program, what you need to do is go on to find your project name, mine's called EP16, and go on to properties. Let's open this, you want to go down to resources, and then here on the arrow add existing file, then search for the thing, uh, Okay, so I've got person here and person state two. So person is going to be the default, and then I'm going to do it again. Add resource person state two. Okay, so just cross off that tab and save it if it's that's you. And now I'm going to go into image here dot dot, and then you can see here person and person state two. If you want person? That's the default one that we're going to have because I've made a transparent background and save it as a PNG. You can see it's the same color as the form which is what you expect with transparency. So that's that's that. And the time is there, so I think that's good. I'm gonna double click the timer, it's to activate the time uh, event for the ticks. ticks. Uh, so form one events, and then um, key, key down, and key up. So, oh, I prefer to put these at the top for some reason, I don't know why. This will get triggered when a key is pressed down. This will get triggered when the key is released. So that's pretty much that. So dim player. Uh, I'll say direction. Dir. I guess put direction. That might get mixed with directory. As byte uh, is equal to zero. I'm gonna make zero equal to still. 1 equal to left and 2 equal to right and yeah so I'm going to be using this E so briefly I haven't gone through this yet so I'll probably do this in some other time I'm not sure when um, I know I said I'll do it this episode but I'm not going to um, so E is basically um, something to do with the um, the event you'll see. So if I do if e dot key code is equal to so e is the key. It has data with the key that was pressed to call this event. Uh, if that makes sense. So if key code is equal to uh, we'll say a do the whole wasd kind of configuration. Then I'll set direction. Uh, that like a second is equal to one because that's what you said. A is on the left side of the WSD configuration, and that's one for left. Uh, else, if e dot key code is equal to keys dot d, then direction is equal to two, and that's fine. So, what if the key goes up, that means you want to be still, right? So what you can say is if e.keycode is equal to keys 
um, a or e dot key code is equal to keys dot d then because either one of them we want to do the same thing you make direction uh, is equal to zero this is not perfect but it, it works um, so that should change the direction that should all work and yeah so what I'm going to do is make a constant constant uh, speed um, equals one so one that's per tick so that's the speed of the character per tick so when the game ticks I want to say if direction is equal to one then oh yeah one then else if direction is equal to two then so if direction equals to one then you want to say player pb player dot um i think you want to do left this means basically the the x the location of the x uh i think you can do location i'm not sure if this is read only though uh location dot x we'll see is equal to we'll say plus um minus equals speed because when I go to the left, okay, yeah. Um, this is read only, um, so you do left, and that allows you to write. Um, so that will set the left position, and it will decrement it by speed every tick. Uh, similarly, if I just copy and paste this here, and then change that to plus equals, and by the way, this means um, yeah, like that. And again, you just for the top one, you just swap that for a minus. It's just a quicker way of writing it. Um, so that should work, I guess. Okay, it works, yeah. So that works. It's a bit slow. This is why we. Oh, I have to change here and here. No, we won't because we've used a constant, so we can only change, we only need changing in one place. So if I set this to three, then it should be a bit faster. That's three pixels per tick which is a uh, hundredth of a second so he moves and that's all good um, so I'm going to say um, I'm going to put this in the same if statement because it's only ever going to have one key code it's, yeah so you can put this all in one if uh, e dot key code is equal to space then want this to change it to um I'm gonna do else if e dot key code is equal to space then so this should change it into the guy with the arms up in the air and this should return it back to the normal state. So I can say picture box no player dot um image is equal to my dot resources so this is accessing the resources like the player here and here so I access this folder dot and you can see the intelligence will give you the two things that are in resources so I'm going to change the state to when space is pressed and then here I'm going to change it to just person when it's released so let's try this like that and I can you can see tries to fly if you just spam space so yeah that's pretty much it